That's Priya, my Member of Parliament, or MP. To find out what the job of an MP is like, she's invited me to spend the day with her in Ottawa. Priya was recently elected to represent our riding, Grand Eclair, as a member of the governing party. It'll be interesting to see how she balances her roles as legislator, representative, and service provider. Welcome to our nation's capital. As you'll see, no two MPs are the same. We come from many different backgrounds and hold many different views. Before being elected, I worked as a teacher and was very active in my community. Now, I have the opportunity to represent and serve my constituents, support my party, and make our country even better. How? Let me show you. Where are we going? To a parliamentary committee meeting. I'm on the Environment and Sustainable Development Committee, but MPs often serve on more than one. What happens in committee? MPs from different parties come together to study and amend legislation before it's passed into law. This legislation can affect the entire country, but it just so happens that today we'll be studying a bill to create a national park in part of our riding. Right now, we're hearing testimony from the Minister of Small Business and Tourism, one of the longest serving MPs in Parliament. He supports building the National Park to attract more tourists to Canada. Hmm, the park would be good for our country. It may be, but some local groups don't think it would be good for our riding. Is it lunch already? It is, but we still have a lot of work to do. Who's that? That's Jacques, an MP from the opposition party. Our parties may not agree on much, but we both share a love of canoeing and miss our kids back home. What do MPs do in the House of Commons? We speak on subjects of local, regional, and national importance. Opposition MPs and, less often, government MPs ask questions of the Prime Minister and other ministers, and we propose, debate, and vote on legislation. How do you decide what legislation to vote for? Well, it depends. As a member of a political party, I'm expected to vote with my party on most issues. What if you don't agree with your party on a particular issue? That's why parties hold private caucus meetings every week, where MPs discuss issues and raise concerns with their party leaders. However, when it comes to voting on legislation, MPs almost always support their party, with whom they share a set of values and beliefs. All those in favor of the motion will please say yay. Yay! yay. Finish working for the day? Not yet. I've still got some office work to do. Like what? Well, with the help of my staff, I respond to letters, emails, and phone calls from constituents and journalists. I meet with a variety of individuals and interest groups. I prepare speeches and briefings for Parliament. And I review reports and proposals on a wide range of topics. MPs also have offices in their ridings, where staff help constituents with questions about visas, pension benefits, income taxes, and other federal matters. While many of my constituents support building a national park, this reporter would like me to comment on the objections raised by local industries and farmers. So many competing interests and issues to consider. What if you do something your constituents don't like? They'll usually tell me about it, and they may not support me in the next election. Now that the week is over, I can return to Grand Eclair to see my family and constituents. The job of an MP never ends. Spending your day legislating in Parliament, representing your riding and party, and serving your constituents sure seems challenging and exhausting. It is. And for MPs to do our jobs, we need to hear from Canadians like you. To learn more about our democracy, visit SamaraCanada.com.